All right, good, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining this session. Um, we are going to talk about uh, introduction to instant analytics SDK with Lightning here. So uh, just to introduce myself, my name is Mohit Srivastava. Uh, I'm a Salesforce MVP and a Salesforce technical architect at Code Science. At Code Science, we help customers to build ISV app, app exchange applications. So to know more about, you can visit our website at codescience.com. Uh, you can catch me out uh, on my email at mohit at codescience.com. Or if you have any questions, uh, you, can, uh, you can tweet me at, uh, at mshivasa30. All right. So let's get started here. Um, so what are we going to uh, cover today in this talk? So we're going to talk about introduction to instant analytics. Like, what is the platform? Uh, how many of you here have worked with uh, instant analytics before? Great. And how many of you have worked with Lightning Platform be before? OK, so here what we're going to show is how can we integrate both you know, the Lightning Platform and the instant analytics via you know, the SDK that Salesforce provides. So Salesforce provides two types of SDKs. Uh, one is a web SDK, and the other one is the Apex SDK. We're going to take a demo of that and see how I can integrate with that. So we're going to talk about these platforms. We're going to take a look at all these demos. And uh, at the end, I'll, I'll, I'll share some references. How many of you here are developers? Raise your hands. Up in there, up in there. So far, enjoying Dreamforce? Great, thank you. Um, all right, so uh, just to give you an intro of you know what is uh, instant analytics, right? So what what are the components that instant analytics comprises of, right? So it comprises of all these things. You know, you start with the data because that's that's what you visualize, right? So the, your data set is a you know a data from multiple systems. It can be from Salesforce or it can be from different systems through your CSVs or through the integrations. There are third-party adapters as well to to get the data in. And data flow is basically a JSON file that tells what type of transformation that you want to do on this data set, right? So once you kind of have this data set and the data flow, you know, uh, and you transform your data. At that time, you use lenses and dashboards, you know, to visualize the data or or gather, uh, you know, analytics out of it, right? And then once you have all these dashboards, you collect them together via the apps, right? So let's take a look at, uh, you know, um, the let's take a look at the studio here. One sec, can you guys uh, see my mirrored screen? One sec, just give me a sec here. So. We have some, OK, so we can see here. So as you can see, this is the uh, analytics studio, OK? So here, you will see different, different subtabs for different things, right? So you see dashboard, you see lenses, you know, uh, you talk about data sets, right? So for example, a data set can be something like a simple data set like this, which, which has all the rows of data. Like in this case, I'm taking like opportunity data set, right? So uh, what you can do is once you get the data set inside this, uh, inside this you can do some, uh, you know, uh, you can do some measures, groups, and filter it so that you can visualize it further, right? So for example, if I want to do an amount and then I want to group it by, let's say, account name, you know, and then you know I want to put some filters, right? And then you know what this platform offers you is to plot these, right? So you can plot different types of charts. You know, if you want to convert them into a tabular format, you can do that, right? So you basically create the data set. You use this platform basically to uh, uh, you know, visualize the data. And then you kind of store all these things and form apps. You know, app is nothing but uh, here. It's a collection of all these lenses and dashboards. right? So let's, uh, let's see some dashboards here. So these are some predefined dashboards that I've built. So this is one of the dashboards which kind of shows the sales that's are, that are happening you know, from the you know, uh, from the last year and the new year, and then it's a plot basically that can clearly show you how many you know how many open opportunities are there, how many one opportunities are there, uh, you know what is the what are the lost opportunities, how many of them we have in the pipeline and and are cured. So this is this is the the analytics platform, right? Now let's let's uh, you know come back to Salesforce platform. So let's uh, switch back our slides here. So um, so we saw the demonstration. Now let's let's take a look at. Uh, you know what Salesforce platform offers you, right? So, how many of you have worked with Salesforce platform before? You have worked, okay? So, Salesforce platform, uh, you know, basically has all these assets, you know, to write your business logic. We have Apex, you know, where you can do the business logic. You have Visual Force, uh, you know, where it's it's a classic interface that we had before, and now we are doing a transformation to this Lightning component framework 
where you know you can componentize every set of UI and make your web page as a collection of these components, right? So, so what is an SDK, right? What Salesforce does with these SDKs? So Salesforce provides an SDK so we can integrate that platform, that analytics cloud that I just showed you, those dashboards, those reports, with this lighting platform and with all these Visual Force and Apex. You know, that's 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 the meat of our talk here. That we're gonna take some examples and see how we can, you know. Uh, marry both uh, you know the analytics uh, dashboards or the widgets with the salesforce you know platform so uh, we do it via something called as you know analytics uh, component that salesforce provides in the lighting experience so this is how integrate with the lighting so let's let's actually switch back to salesforce here uh, for a moment here so this is our salesforce environment right so let's say i am on uh, on one of the accounts here right so let's go to the accounts here Right, so I have created a tab or a dashboard here. You know that is the same analytics dashboard that you see here. You know that is rendered inside the platform now. You know we have rendered the same thing inside the platform, and now all these other things that you see are are, are components. So how do we use these custom components and make it interactive? Right. So I want to use the lighting component that are there on the page, and how can we pass events between these two? Uh, you know between the component. And the uh, you know and uh, uh, the analytics dashboard that we see, right? So that's that's our demonstration. So to do that, actually, first of all, how did I build or got this analytics board here, right? So if you kind of edit this and look at the builder, right? So let's look at the builder here. So in the builder, you know, I have created a sub tab here, and then you know what we have here is something called as wave dashboard right so that's that's the component that i've dragged in and i've configured that so there are some things like which dashboards you want to use from the analytics you just configure that in the builder and then you uh, you know you can use component visibility and other features that lighting uh, you know uh, app builder provides and once you kind of use that you get that analytics that you have you know configured in your analytics cloud right inside the platform so let's see how we have uh, sort of built this uh, uh, you know simple demo here that i have so now you know as you can see this sales forecast is actually forecasting from the whole org it has taken all the opportunities that are there in my instance and it has forecasted it now i want to make it context specific right i want to make it such a way that only for this particular account you know it it shows the the relevant value so i have a custom component here which is uh, basically a toggler once i kind of toggle as you can see it only shows for you know that that particular account that is there in this context right so there is an automated filter that got applied here and and let's take a look at some of the code here you know that is doing this magic right so this component here is a lighting custom component while this is the analytics dashboard so we are cross communicating between these two so let's take a look at uh, some of the code that we have done for that so we have this uh, uh, lighting data services so how many of you have worked with lighting data services before right so what lighting data services does is it provides the context and and it provides all the data set that you see on that particular view page of your record uh, of your salesforce record so we have this uh, you know simple code here what it does here is it's a lighting data service we use this uh, analytics out of box provided events which is the register event so we register that event and in our controller code what we do is we set we set the filters you know we fire that event so that whenever i'm toggling it sends that event back to that analytics cloud so i would have indicated the dashboard dashboard id so it takes three parameters the event takes three parameters the dashboard id the filter value so in this case i'm filtering by the account name right so i say okay whatever the account name in and then you know the type of uh, the event is for the dashboard so you fire that event and then we have another uh, you know basically what happens is this component is smart enough to listen for that because we pass that filters here and then you know based on the context information as you can see we are passing data back and forth between uh, you know between this and uh, between the custom component that we have built and the analytics uh, uh, chart that we have imported now let's take an example of another use case that is what if i want to change the filters on on or if i want to make a selection here and the same selection is actually made on the custom component so i have a custom component here which kind of takes the you know whenever i click something as you can see there is a data right from the platform that's been pulled so let's take a look at how i'm doing this right how am i using that you know to toggle that and bring that information into the platform so to do that what we are doing here is we are using a, a component called 
you know, wave selection chain demo, which is again a custom component that I've built. And you know, we are using the out of box SDK event that is provided called as wave selection change. So on the selection change, what we do is, you know, we capture that event, and on that event, as you can see, you know, I have some custom logic here. What it does basically is here, it it calls a helper function. Now that helper function can be again integrated with your Apex. So I have this helper function here that calls, you know, that takes all the parameter, like whatever the month I'm selecting and all the filter parameters that I'm selecting there. And based on that selection, what it is doing is it's passing all that back to one of the Apex controllers here. So let me bring up that Apex controllers here. So, so this is the, uh, the Apex controller here. It's RI enabled method. And, you know, we, we call this Apex. Uh, class and based on that we pass it and then we have a simple query that actually fetches all the information from Salesforce environment and returns it. So in a way what I'm doing is integrating both the analytics platform and the Salesforce platform seamlessly via all these standard uh, interfaces that are provided here uh, by the Salesforce. Uh, so as you can see, even you know, whenever, whenever I change something here, you know, based on whatever the dates and the other filter parameters that are there on this, you know, uh, like I'm, it has a plot of uh, the the dates and the and the month, and it takes that parameter, uses the Apex, gets all the all runs all the SQL, gets that gets that information here, you know. So this is how we are trying to integrate integrate both. So we saw two use cases, right? One was how do we you know, pass data between the lighting component and the analytics chart, and the reverse way, what happens when we actually select some of the filters here and you know, pass the data back and forth between the interfaces. Right? So, so this is about the web, uh, uh, web SDK. You can get more information you know, uh, by, by some of the references documents that I have. Uh, so this, is, this was the part of analytics web SDK. Now there is also Apex SDK. How many of you are Apex developers here? Raise your hands. Awesome. So if you are an Apex developer, how can I get the data from the data set you know, using the Apex? Right? So to do that, we have this analytics Apex SDK. Right? What it allows us to do is it allows us to execute SQL. So SQL is the analytics query language that runs behind the, uh, you know, the analytics, uh, wave analytics here, or the instant analytics. So, uh, so all these functions, we can execute it. So let's, uh, let's take a code sample you know, and see how we can do this. So to do that, I think I have created uh, an Apex class here. So wave Apex SDK is the class that I've created. So basically, you have your own, uh, there is a namespace called wave. So you can look at the namespace. It provides you all the methods. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just querying, querying certain data sets, you know, doing, executing a particular SQL, and you know, executing and taking that response and just showing the JSON response. So let's try and you know, use this in, in our developer console. How many of you use developer console here? Awesome. So in the developer console, you can basically execute your Apex, right? So in this case, let's say I have this Apex class, you know. So I just want to execute and show you. So I can go ahead and execute it. So you know, once I execute this, you can see that you know the data set. Like, let's actually look at the debug, right? So let's get these responses. So this is this is all the information that is coming from the data set, right? All the all the data that is coming from the data set right inside the platform, like right inside inside the Apex platform, right? So um, so that's about the Apex SDK. Um, you know, you can explore more on uh, you know on Trailhead, and there are some references here that I have for you. We have uh, we have the developer guide where you can go and take look at the code samples. All my code that I've used is shared in the GitHub repo, so you can get get access to that. Uh, and explore some trailhead modules, right? Like build and administer analytics. You know how do you? Uh, you know there there is a module on explore with analytics, so you can get all these things on trailhead, and uh, you know you can you can build your own. You can use some of the trailhead modules automatically has inbuilt dashboards, so that you can take them. So for my demo, as you can see, I've used ones that trailhead provides. So this. Basically, this whole setup is what Trailhead provides. So once you kind of go through the Trailhead module, it kind of gives you all that apps. And then you can use that SDK documentation to explore more and connect these uh, you know, dashboards or whatever you're building. And using the, you know, the builder that I've shown you, the app builder, right? you can bring all these custom components. You can, bring, you can build your own custom components and bring that uh, you know, into the platform. So uh, any questions? Uh, we have some minutes here, like four minutes, and we can take some uh, questions from the audience here and, and try to answer.
Any questions from anyone here? No questions? Everything was clear? Okay. How many of you have really, you know, used one of these SDKs and built something? Right? None of you? Okay. All right. So I think, uh, I think that's for the today. I hope you guys have a great time, rest of the Dreamforce, and have fun. Thank you. <laughs>